So we're back at it this morning. Um, Luna's still in labor. I had to take her babies out of here because Smudgy has been giving the babe, trying to steal her babies and giving Luna a bad time. Uh, and Luna, I didn't think was finished. And she's now back laying down and pushing again. So uh, I actually made the right call and getting the babies out of there and just letting her lay down and relax again and finish up here. Um, and Smudgy is, she's in labor. She's in just pre-labor, pawing at the ground and... Uh, pawing at the ground and just, uh, just trying to get the baby out started pushing again she's sprawled out and she's actually laying in a good spot for us i was just getting ready to bring her out and milk her and i was giving her five more minutes to to lay and uh sure enough she started pushing again and you can see smudgy's actually dropped her mucus plug she's got some discharge and she's starting to push a little bit too She's in labor right now, too. She's pushing. Smudgy's a grunter. Luna won't make a sound. She's a tough old broad. But it looks like it's going to be the busy day I thought it was going to be. It's just starting a little later than I thought. There goes Luna. She's pushing hard. She's got a baby presenting now. It'll be a busy morning, Gene. Smudgy's pushing now, too. And Luna's got another one coming. I was going to milk by myself and do chores by myself this morning, and I had given Gene the morning off, and last night I messaged him to come in because uh i just thought it would be busy this morning and and it, it it is trying to make cheese as well as do all this and changing in and out of gloves and clothing and taking clothes on and off and this time of year makes for uh interesting days during the office staying warm in Mandy's office bathroom there Nah, I just checked over there. Is that Bree? Is that Bree laying over there behind the buck in, in this corner over here, Gene? Yeah. Think she may go today too. Hey, I'm trying to hold the camera still, and you're heckling me. Well, so I hope everybody's having a nice Sunday morning. It's uh, a lot nicer out there today, so if you're going to go skiing or snowboarding or ice fishing, uh, looks like it should be a, a nice day for it. I get through all this this morning. I'm going to try to get my kids down snowboarding, so... You know, just like women, I'm pretty sure labor is different for every every goat. Um, like I said, some will grunt, some will scream, some won't make a sound. Um, but Luna had her first two this morning. We didn't even know she had them. She was so quiet when she did it. Until Smudgy started heckling her, we... We didn't even see the babies. Say hi, Gene. Uh, Here goes Smudgy's pushing. So this is the kind of morning I was expecting. It, it'll probably be uh, these two, and then another one will go, and another one will go. Um, we try to breed everybody all at once, so... done and over with.
a lot easier for me to have three, three, three and a half weeks of madness uh, instead of spreading it out over four months um, and try to spread out my milk production. It really doesn't extend my milking season. Um, we tried it a couple years and it really, once they get to the fall and the girls start going into estrus again, the milk production just drops off. It just, it just leaves. So she's huge, man. She's going to make some milk. see Luna just picked up she had some placenta or after birth there she was just chewing on but she likes her space when she freshens she's okay with smudgy being here now because smudgy's in labor but Come on, Luna. Push it out. My fingers are cold. So does anybody know that's watching where the pancake breakfast is this morning? Is it Delphi Falls, Apelia, Pompey? I got two pushing side by side now. Thank you, Megan. I tried just turning my phone to see if I could get them both in the frame, but I've got both butt butts in the frame. So at the end of the day, yes, or middle of the day yesterday, we were bottle feeding 14 babies. I sold those 14 off yesterday. Um, I have a buyer that comes and gets them from me. Um, we're not keeping any does this year for replacements. Well, I say that and I always end up with one or two. Um, and we're not going to keep any to eight weeks to wean for pets this year. I just don't have the time for it. With the cow milk production and the goat milk production, it, uh, it's too hard to try to keep a lot of replacements and pets around. So we're just moving them off the farm as quick as we can this year. And then uh, we'll be back to good milk production in the goats and the cows. And yeah. It wasn't for two It's like we're having a race here. Who's going to go first? Penny. No. How you flipped it upside down? Um, get another six months out of it, hopefully. Those first two looked like Jake. They like her. Palm or two. All my babies look like their daddy. You're just special. Come on, girls, let's go. Kiwi? Yeah. She may still be bred. I know. Like she aborted that one. I should start taking action on uh, see 
taking bets on see who pushes the kid out first here. Luna's already had to, but I, I don't know if Smudgy's going to beat her to the, the punch here. But Luna's starting to push hard now. Poor girls, this is a... This is a stressful time of year, not only for the animals, but for me and Amy and the kids. It's, uh, and the employees, yeah. And for Eugene, we, uh, we put in a lot of hours and watching and caring for animals and feeding, bottle feeding. And even if they're only here for four or five days, it is. It's every five, every or five times a day we feed. So it seems like we could get cleaned up and do something, and then we're feeding again. So that's my stream. So the one here in the foreground, she's already had two. She's been in labor since probably before 6 a.m. Um, so she's uh, she's moving slow on this third one, but the goat behind her has been kind of in labor all morning and kind of stressing her, trying to steal her babies and be in the same space as her. But they're gonna they're gonna have a, have some kids here shortly. And Luna's sack. There's a sack sticking out. I haven't seen any body parts yet, but she good and dilated because she already had the two, so I'm not too worried about her pushing this one out. I kind of watch the time that these guys start their labor and really their heavy pushing. Um, obviously, you don't want to get them, you don't want them to get exhausted by pushing and need help um we try to let them do it as much on their own but if like in the situation last night uh i watched my doe boots and i could just tell that she was starting to struggle and she wasn't progressing on her third baby and there was a problem um and sure enough amy came up and reached in her and the kid's head was actually face down it wasn't in the birth canal but the shoulders were so it was blocking and she couldn't get it it wouldn't reposition for her um she basically kept pushing it against the the birth canal and we had to go in and amy had to push it back down and get its head up and, and out um so those three are at the house in the warm garage and being fed and her, the mother, she's back here in the back. She made a good amount of milk this morning. She's doing good. We gave her a little oxytocin to help push out her afterbirth so she doesn't get any infection. Uh, you know, we weren't in, in there too long. We normally give them a course of antibiotics when we reach in them like that. But Amy was gloved up and it was quick. So just hoping she pushes it out and doesn't get you know end up with an infection but we'll keep an eye on her of course see how Luna's progressing right now, but I can see there's a sack sticking out. Hey. Smudgy's going to start to push again. Come on, Luna, let's go. Is that a head? Come 
on, big girl. I may have to call the hands team in again. It's uh, I'm not seeing much bot. Not I don't see a nose or a face in her sack here. Um, I'll let her push a little bit longer, probably 20, 30 minutes, and she's not laying flat. You know, her head's still up. She's pushing hard when she is pushing. So we won't we won't. Uh, get involved yet but she has been in labor for quite some time so and smudgy's pushing again come on luna You want to come in and film for me? Yeah. So I'm going to give Gene the phone. He probably isn't going to talk much. Maybe he will. But he's going to watch Luna for me while I go work on some cheese stuff. So. I'll try. Smudgy's getting ready to go. She's going to lay down here and she might try to push. But... Oh, yep, she's starting to die right now. Luna's starting to get a little tired. You stop. Not your personal cheat toy. I got some ghosts over here that are trying to eat me alive out of my clothes. But they're part of the younger group from last year. Mind Beatrice. <laughs> Looks like Luna's going back to pushing. Stop. Uh, what was that? Uh, I don't know. See, they'll push for so long and then eventually they'll become tired. So they'll stop and take a break in between.
Stop chewing me up. Not gonna have any clothes left. I thought you guys were done chewing on them. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you today? You guys good? Yeah. Okay. I can't really help you. Conversations with our goats. Maybe Barry don't, but I will. Luna's gonna try a different spot. She's gonna see if she can push it out over here instead. Maybe the maybe this spot will have better luck. Don't you think your hands are going to be a little too big? Feel any parts. <laughs> Okay, we're going to cut out on you. I got to uh, get my wife up here, some smaller hands. Luna's not progressing, and I'm getting concerned. So I, I may pull back up because last night's went smooth so you can see kind of what we have to do but uh, I gotta call her real quick and get her up here so see you in a little bit